Today's rebuild is a passion project for me. Why is that? Tell me now. I am going to be rebuilding Girona FC, a team that currently, as we speak, is sat in the second position in Spain. Yes, you can see right here, 10 points after four games unbeaten so far, ahead of the likes of Barcelona, at Atletico Madrid. And I personally have said before the season started that I expect them to finish in a top eight. Not a lot of people believed me. Well, let me tell you why I believe in this squad. Well, here it is. They have some incredible players I love. Tigankov being one of them today, as I'm recording this, he's playing against the likes of England, the national team. The game might actually be on right now. And then I also have Alex Garcia, an incredible midfield player who used to be at Manchester City, was really good friends with the likes of David Silva. And I also have Daily Blind. These are my cards on so rare, as you guys might have seen on my social media and stuff i'm heavily into so rare this is not the video is not about so rare don't you worry good you have me worried there but i just wanted to let you know that i've been watching their games quite closely now one thing a lot of people might not know is that girona is actually part of the city football group which is obviously a company coming out of abu dhabi who are the owners of the likes of manchester city new york city yokohama marinos who are doing amazing things in japan as well and then Girona is part of this, along with the likes of Mumbai City FC. I know I have a lot of uh, people from India watching these videos. Shout out to you guys. <laughs> and then you also have the likes of Lommel in the second division in Belgium, who City, Manchester City, go ahead and utilize big time in order to get some of their talents play time and then get them loaned out to different clubs. So today, this Girona story, hopefully it's going to be one that you enjoy because as it is a passion project, I'm going to be hoping I can do my absolute best to get this team the trophies in Spain and also in Europe. I want that Champions League trophy badly in the hands of Alex Garcia. There is no passion! So let's start with the team presentation and how the team actually plays in real life at the moment. They have the likes of Savio on the left wing, cutting inside, dribbling past people with ease, but he's just not bringing that end product yet to his game. Once he does that, he will probably be one of the biggest names in La Liga that a lot of teams might be interested in. I was surprised when he was at PSV Eindhoven and didn't get as much playtime. This current version of Savio would do really well in there. Then you have Stuani up top, who is an old man, 36 years old right now in real life as we speak, 35 in our game still, but he's doing a good job, but they have already brought in his replacement, and that is Dovby. Guys, I didn't know anything about this guy. He's a 26-year-old that came in into this side and immediately impressed. He's a Ukrainian. He is tall. He must be like six foot two. I don't believe he's actually six foot one. His physicality is incredible. His pace is great. Extremely direct striker. And I really like him. And I hope throughout the season that he takes over from the legend that is Duani. It's going to be tough to do so. And then the main man that dictates the play. You have Alex Garcia doing incredible defensive and offensive actions. Based on stats, he was one of the best midfielders in La Liga last season. Apart from injuries that held him back, he had a great year. Then you have Ivan Martin in this midfield setup. In real life, he plays in that center midfield role alongside Yangel Herrera, who is one of, the, one of the players on the younger side that we definitely can bring on until the end of this rebuild. But Ivan Martin, even though he's young, he's not a center mid, so I don't necessarily plan on having him in that position. That's the only spot I'm going to go ahead and change in this season. But then we have Gutierrez as a left back and Arnaud Martinez as a right back. Both talents, I mean, they have very high potential. Especially Arnaud Martinez was wanted by multiple clubs. Seems like he has decided to stick around at Girona. So good luck to him. At the back, you have two old players. Daily Blind, who is actually doing a great job so far. And then Lopez, who I personally don't really rate that highly. The reason why I don't do that is because they usually used to play Bueno in there. Santi Bueno, who now moved over to Wolves in England. And he's going to get playtime there. So I was kind of hoping he would stick around to play alongside Blind. So that you have two great players at the back who can do well with possession. And then at, in the goalkeeper position, you have Gaza obviously coming in. At the age of 30, 
He's a good one, but definitely someone that we could replace in the future. On the bench, you have the likes of Porto, who a lot of you guys might remember from back in the day, was a decently high-rated player. It was actually quite usable as well, especially in Ultimate Team. I remember he had some good cards. But yeah, on the bench specifically, Dovbik is the one that we have to watch out for. And the rest of the squad, there are some decent players like the Solis guy who was brought in just this season. You have Valeri, who's only 22 years old. You have Renier, who used to be a big talent, kind of has fallen off big time, I'll be honest. But generally speaking, this is the Girona setup. I am going to start off by bringing in a center midfielder to play alongside Garcia and Herrera. You have passion. I get it. So who am I going to go for? I'm obviously going for someone who is doing a great job in La Liga already. It's a Spanish midfielder, a player who has gone ahead and in his first four games of the season, gotten two assists and a goal for Villarreal. Two of those goal contributions being against Barcelona. We are talking about Alex Baena, a youngster. That is going to cost me my entire budget, by the way. Girona apparently doesn't have money. Aren't you owned by the City Group? What the hell? But they are going to come in right here and spend the cash on Baena. He's going to take over for me in that left center midfield position instead of this Martin guy. Baena comes in and I actually am not too impressed by Martin anyways. But this guy has the potential to do really well in multiple positions. He can actually play left wing too. Gets an upgrade there. Not the most pacey player, but very well-rounded in the attack with good shooting, good passing, good dribbling, and the four-star week put on top of it. And now he's going to be part of an amazing midfield. So hopefully this is the good signing, but that's the only signing I'm going to be making for this year because I want to showcase to you guys what this team could achieve in La Liga basically by themselves without me doing anything. As I said, I expect them to do really well in real life, which is like a top seven position that'd be lovely for girona lovely so where does this team finish this season it ended up in the 13th position with only 43 points which is quite a big letdown if you consider how strong they are looking in real life and last season if you guys can look here they actually finished in the 10th position with 49 points Actually, not that far away from 7th, which only had 53. So, me predicting them to get like top 8, top 7 might not be too crazy. But going back to this, you can clearly tell that the team just didn't do as well. Now, growth by Savio, Tsigankov, Alex Garcia, Herrera, Baena, all these guys looking great. But we obviously have a couple of players who are too old that we need to replace moving forward. So in the upcoming season, we'll have to find two new center backs and possibly a new striker. Dovbik is at a 73 right now. He could take over from me in that position. So mainly we need to focus on both of these center back positions and see what we can do there as, oh, Saka just hit the crossbar. I am watching Tsigankov play in real life. He's up against England as we speak. It is 1-1. But yeah, things are looking interesting for the future of Girona going into the next year. And stats-wise, Tsigankov, the main man with 22-5. and five. Don't know why he's the captain. Stuani with the 17-1. and one. And then Herrera, 5-2. and two. Alex Garcia, where you at, pal? Where the hell? He had 8 assists. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's doing something. I was thinking, like, what the hell? But hey. I guess he's only doing assists now. Well, guess who's coming in? It's actually a player that's loaned into Girona this season that I forgot about. It's Eric Garcia. Yes, the guy that used to be a big talent when he was at Manchester City. Then he moved over to Barcelona. Things didn't really work out for him. And now Barcelona is happy to let him go out on loan. So Eric Garcia, you are very much welcome as a permanent transfer at Girona. Now, this is a signing... I can get behind for sure. He's going to come in and be the perfect replacement for the likes of Daily Blint, who's obviously going to keep going down in his stats, but will be a good backup for us to have right there. And then obviously on the bench, we actually look quite good on wingers. Uh, not that good on center midfielders. We do have this Kebe guy, but apart from that, nothing special there. But the right center back position, 
still needs to be solved. That problem is something that we need to go after, and I might have to sell one or two players to fix it. Go on, then. For now, I'm keeping our business within Spain, but in the upcoming seasons, once we can buy some higher-rated players, I'm going to be looking towards Manchester City and some other clubs to possibly pick up some players from over there. But right now, it's Daniel Vivian joining our team for 31 million. Had to sell a bunch of players. We basically don't have any more wingers left on the bench. But uh, Daily Blind comes in right here to sit on the bench. And the main man joins us at an 80 rating, which is lovely. Now we have Vivian as a 24-year-old in that right centre-back position. And Eric Garcia coming in, 22 years old still joining in into a very young and strong looking defense so very happy with the setup and i gotta say dovbik you're getting your chance right now as he is getting his chance against england he's been subbed on things haven't exactly gone too well for us this season it is an improvement upon last time 50 points right but as i said i want this team to be part of the top eight obviously we want to be a club that wins the title in the end right here in this rebuild but it's taking some time because a lot of these players were lower rated, but things are looking up. For the next season, I'm definitely looking at bringing a new goalkeeper. Gaza is now 32 years old, but it's lovely to see that Dovbik, now as a 26-year-old, is at that 77 rating. While Tsigankov, his Ukrainian buddy, is looking amazing with the 87. And Savio started with a 69, now on an 80, two seasons in. And the midfield, I actually really, really like the balance in there. Love it. And uh, looking at the defense, we have made the right decisions, in my opinion. It's only a matter of time until this Girona squad steps up and does incredible things. And as I'm going through the stats right here, we can see that Tsigankov is the best player alongside Savio. And Stuani got to play a bunch of games, it seems. Dovbik only got seven goal contributions. I want to know from you guys, though. Like, I personally, through so rare, have obviously developed some sort of... Disease? You know, not fandom ship, but like some sort of sympathy for a lot of clubs. And I really enjoy watching them and getting really a deep dive into all these clubs. Are there any clubs that you love watching that you don't actually support as a fan let me know in the comments i would love to know which clubs you guys are watching whether it be because they play beautiful football like Bayer Leverkusen for example or they have an amazing story like Union Berlin for example so let me know in the comments i'm very interested to hear your thoughts do it and here's the option i've gone for a youngster a great goalkeeper that i see has a bright future ahead of him but he will have to battle the likes of donnarumma for the position of goalkeeper in the italian national team it's carne secchi a good talent honestly i really hope his career goes well he's gonna join us for about 40 million plus gaza and uh yeah that's a lot of money but he comes in at an 83 my man let's go he is looking all on ready for this season which is amazing and i don't have any more money left so yeah let's please get some european football right here so here's something i didn't realize at the end of last season it's the fact that in the copa de España we apparently won it and that got us into europa league football and guess what we're playing against manchester city it's a city group final in a situation like this can they just go ahead and decide who wins is that what they can do influence the game i guess they could but look at who we got past dortmund newcastle eintracht frankfurt and also feyenoord which kind of tells me we must have a great team and honestly it looks great Tigankov on a 90 of big now on the 82 and by the way the captain again should be alex garcia that's my goal go big 82 it's not amazing he's 27 years old i hope he can still keep on going up but the midfield looks extremely solid and the defense does too carne Secchi has put himself into a great spot there now in the next season i probably will be buying a bunch of players to fill up the bench because the bench just doesn't look good at all so that's something we need to focus on. In the league, where did we actually finish right here? I really hope we got a good finish. Please, please. Sixth. Let's go. So I believe that puts us back into Europa League or at least Conference League. So Europa football is secured once more. 
And now to get smashed by Manchester City. There's no chance we get something out of this. I'd be so surprised. Ah, I had, I had small hope, I, I will have to admit. Bernardo Silva and Haaland scores. Savio tries his best to get us back into the game. It doesn't work out, but that's okay. We have lost against our big brother, basically. Manchester City getting it done. Hopefully, the Champions League final can be against them once we get there. And if we do play against them, I'm going to absolutely smash them. I can't wait. And the goals coming in from the Brazilian. 25 and 13. Sigankov once again in the top two. And Dovbik with a much better season. Well done, buddy. And Alex Garcia finally scoring goals as well. This was a great season. I wasn't even aware that we won the Spanish Cup last time around. We're back in Europe once more. This guy is the last signing I'm making for this season. I filled up the bench with free agents, but Simon Banza is the one I had to spend money on. I don't know why I spent 30 million, but he comes in to replace Duani, who is 65 rated by now. Banza, a player I've never used before, so that's an interesting one. And we filled up the bench with Doyle, with uh, Johnson, and also Branthwaite coming in alongside Cabril, looking much stronger there. And off we go. So in the Europa League, this time we lost against Galatasaray in just a round of 16 or something. But I believe the team has done the unthinkable 101 points in La Liga with only one loss. Girona is looking incredible. Real Madrid, Atletico and Barcelona behind us. If we could continue this amazing dominance going into the future, that would make me so happy. Why have we been able to pull this off? Well, it is because we have a bunch of unbelievable players right now. I love the team that we have built along with keeping some of the originals of this squad alive. And uh, I love the fact that Dovbik is my main guy. I am very impressed by him in real life. So I love this. See, Gankov 29 and 15, Savio 25 and 13, end product, man. That's all you need in your game. And Dovbik with a 23 and 3. While the most assists are coming in from uh, Tigankov. And then after that, it's Alex Garcia once more. He gets involved. He's 28 now. In terms of age, who do we have? In terms of like age, who's the oldest player? Stuani. And then after that, it's Banza with 29. So all good. This team can keep going. And lads, we're going to be playing Champions League football. And looking at that side... It's not going to take us too long to get it to get it to where we want it to be. 101 points. That's insane. That's probably one of the best seasons I ever had in a La Liga rebuild. Might just be the best one. So impressive. Quarter finalists, AS Roma get beaten to play against Barcelona, who obviously are part of La Liga, who we have beaten and we got past them last time around with 101 points in the league. Looking incredible. Looks like we are beating absolutely everyone anyways. And Benfica in the semi-finals cannot stop us. It's PSG in a final. No Manchester City this time around. But I really hope that there is more than just a Champions League trophy on the line here as we get close to it. I am hoping to see that we have won the La Liga title once more. Is it exactly as I expected to be? Girona, are you at the top? No, they're not. From 100 plus points down to 74. Seven more losses this season. How the hell does that happen then? Hey, the team got better. How are we not performing better anyways? But hey, it's fine. See, Gankov on a 95. That's insane. Savio, 93. Dovbik, 88. Herrera, Garcia, and Baena are looking amazing in that midfield. Everyone looks like they're capable of doing every single thing that they need to do. Garcia with only a three-star week, but how come I haven't worked on that? But defensively, again, looking very solid, guys. Now, I want to see the goal contributions in this possibly final season. Banza? What? Oh, my God. So this guy got brought into the team as a backup. And just decided to score 28 goals in 37 games. You were supposed to be on the bench, dude. And we have Dovbik, who looks like he might have gotten less playtime here. With 11 goals and 2 assists, I'm assuming, off the bench. Why did the game play him? He's only a rotational player. Uh, that stuff 
I hate when that happens, man, but it's a surprise. So, okay, Tigankov, the best player on uh, on the pitch for us this season. Garcia with 10 and 8. I can't wait to see what we can achieve with this squad now against PSG in the final. This should be a lot of fun. They are coming in with Mbappe, Luis, I don't know who that is, Shaparenko, Patino, Kone, interesting midfield, Davies, Aguerd, Ibanez, Tapsoba, Dagba, Donnarumma. Wow, that's the oddest looking PSG team I've ever played against. So let's play against them. Let's do this. There's not many times where I want to win a Champions League final super badly. Obviously, every time I try my best, but this time there's passion involved. I want this club to win. I want Garcia to lift the trophy, as I mentioned at the beginning. I think he's an extremely underrated, extremely well-skilled player. And I want him to get his recognition in this final. Alongside with others, especially Dovbik. Many people don't know you, pal. Let's do something. Oh, he's done. What? There he is, Yangel Herrera. No jets. Okay, it's fine. We have people running down the right. Then inside, we have the likes of Tigankov, who on his left foot could be extremely deadly. Alex Garcia, giving too much space. Oh, come on, Girona, please. Don't let him score on you. Mbappe. It's 1-0. Of course, who else would it be? Kylian Mbappe just sprinting down the middle. All about pace. Nothing else. So boring. Oh, man, I'm actually angry. <laughs> Mbappe again. Mbappe skill move. Luis tries to lob me. The freaking disrespect. Luis, you're not getting past me, pal. Love that. Now maybe a chance. Alfonso Davies is not at the back. This could be an opportunity. Why the hell is Dovbik running back like that? That doesn't make any sense. Tigankov. Left foot. Donnarumma. Down the right we go. I see Dovbik potentially open. Or this is Alex Garcia. His finesse shot also saved by Donnarumma. I hate Donnarumma. I hate him. Oh, wow. He just runs into me and kicks me over. What are we doing? Honestly, I am so pissed. I can't believe this. Come on. Oh, wow. Straight away pass the ball into them. Yeah, sure. Why not, man? Why not? Dovbik. Make a run, Dovbik. That's a good pass into you, pal. Down the left goes Gutierrez. Savio. Dovbik. Savio. Good passing. Great finishing. 2-1. Come on. Let's go. Nine more minutes. We can do this. I believe in us. Here we go. Yangel Herrera. We need the right backs to get involved. Or the full backs, I should say. I should have passed it to Dovbik there. Big mistake. Now Yangel Herrera has an opening to find Baena and nothing comes out of it. And that's probably the end. We have lost the Champions League final right here now. I'm so upset. They keep playing it around the back. They're actually trying to piss me off. 90th minute. Savio. Move, everyone, move. Everyone, move forward. Yangel Herrera. Dovbik. Oh, what a pass that is. One more. Finish. Yangel Herrera. My hero. It's 2 2. We're going into freaking extra time. Girona has come back. What a moment that is. All we need to do is score one more and not concede. Simple, right? Great steal. Move. Baina. Baina. Lots of space. Tigankov. No, no, please. No, 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 oh, hold no. on. Dolbik wins that. No, he doesn't. No, you're not scoring on me like this. You're not doing that to me, man. You're not. You're not. Kaneseki said no. Uh-oh. Mbappe. You gotta win these battles, man. We can't leave these guys open like this. ESG somehow make it in again. Inside my box, I legit cannot touch the freaking ball, please. My God, dude. So annoying. Angel Herrera. That is Alex Garcia. Alex Garcia. I need you to find the perfect pass. Angel Herrera wants it once more. Can he pull it off? He could have. He can. He actually can. Dovbik. 
You're kidding! Yes! Of your 120th minute! The drama in this game is unmatched! Girona wins the Champions League trophy today! Let's go, dude! Yes! Oh my god, what a moment, honestly! I thought Dovbik had it! I, I realized Donnarumma was getting close, but I thought he would score. But man, Savio, thank you for never giving up on that attack, man. Don't you dare give them this attack. We're, we're one minute over. Okay, we did it. Alex Garcia, take on your trophy, buddy. Let's go, dude. I'm so happy. Guys, this was an incredible Champions League final. I barely ever ask for liking the video, but if you have watched until now, make sure to do so. This Champions League final was totally worth it. Appreciate you all. Definitely, if you have the time, watch a couple of Girona games this season. That's my suggestion. And I'm done for today. Have a good day. Take care. And peace. Gotta see ya. You have your trophy.